The realm travel room. This place has seen better days. Haven't we all? Kratos, do you remember when I brought you and Atreus in here for the first time? Seems like lifetimes ago. I do. And it was because of your guidance we were able to fulfill Faye's last wish. Ahem. And yours as well, Mimir. You were saying the Sisters of Fate have used their power? They did. And we'll just stop there for now. You were saying the Sisters of Fate have used their power? They did. So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic. Nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. Wait! Do you see? Isn't that the spear from Tyr's statue? Wish for peace. Be ready for war. Oh, that's astute of the elves. Tyr never sought war, but he knew he had to be ready for it. Aye. Best be armed than not. Impressive looking weapon, isn't it? It is big. Oh! <laughs> 
Take it off, man. You've got this. Just to circle back and close the book on this time travel rubbish. If it existed, Odin would have it. And if Odin had it, we'd be five shades more fucked than we are already. I would not ask them to change the past, even if they could. Brother, what's wrong? The wolves are distracted. Look, another coal raider camp. We should do something about them and put your wolves at ease. <laughs>
Over there. So to be clear, finding the norms is not about altering events, yeah? I only want information. And that's quite dangerous enough, in my experience.
cursed wolves. I grow tired of your lack of empathy for your own wolves. It's Demos, isn't it, brother? I should not have told you, Demos. You see yourself in these wolves, in their fear. Let us keep moving. That's another raven sent to the Tree of the Dead. Perhaps we should check up on it, hmm? I've always wanted to ask. What was it Grimthur whispered to you? Who? Grimthur, the son of Thormur, the stonemason, who disguised himself and built Asgard's wall. Wait, that building. How strange. I've never seen that building before. Aye, very strange indeed. Let's take a closer look. Raider on the left! Blocking the entrance. It looks exactly like the one from Tyr's statue. It's another piece of Tyr's likeness sent flying across the lake. Ended up lodged right into this building, apparently. All this must have been hidden behind the ice until that shield smashed through it. We can't reach it with the shield there. <laughs>
They're ethereal! Perhaps my arrows! Switching! I see something. Sigil arrows won't work on this.
We just need to open the gate. Arrows can't go. Together again. You won't believe it, Lumi. This crest belongs to Fjotrulun. Fjotrulun, you see? Now that's where Seekrim is from. The vault is lost. Then we should find the keys. That's a spirit, brother. Mamir, I never asked how it felt to lose your head. What would you have me say? Merely curious. If you wish to derive some satisfaction from my pain, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. Kratos swung swift and true, didn't you, brother? I felt nearly a scratch. Shame. Oh, <laughs> 
We don't have the equipment for this. Rhea, can't you remember anything about what Dreamthrough of a Stonemason's son said to you after building Asgard's wall? Oh, yes. One of the many occasions Odin saw fit to involve me in a wager without my consent. I wish I could say that was the worst of his husbandly habits. What wager? I've told this story, brother. And now she may tell her own. There isn't that much to tell. I knew nothing of it at first, surely because Odin didn't expect to lose the bet. A mysterious mason had to build the entire wall in three turns of the season. Two! It was two! And if he was late, he'd be owed nothing. But if he succeeded, he was promised an audience with the queen. Or so I learned one day when Odin burst into our bedchambers, raging and half drunk before noon, telling me to get dressed and go see what the mason wants. So, off I went, not knowing what had truly been promised or expected dagger stashed in my robe for emergency. And this mason, this giant in disguise... His name was Hrimthur. He just smiled to see me. And as you said, he whispered in my ear. He said the Aesir had killed his father, and he needed to know that one day they'd burn for it. I pointed out I was Aesir now too, technically. He gave me a look, as if he somehow knew better and continued. He said he'd built in a structural flaw behind the Asgard Realm Tower. I knew it! How do we make use of it? Enough. We will continue later. Let's see. I feel something. In this direction. Feel what exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. Kratos, I feel the Norns over here. Are you ready? Oh, no. Nothing. Another dead end. A trap! Oh! 
You know, this search will only get more dangerous. Then we keep looking. Back to the wolves, then. What is up here? I don't feel anything. It's not related to the Norns. Could be interesting enough in its own right. What's that outpost? I've expanded my inventory since we last spoke. Anything for Freya? Hope it's to your liking. Kratos? And for the Valkyrie Queen? Whatever you need, I'll create. What can I make for you? And now, Freya? What'll it be? Be safe! Another marking, like the one in the treasury. Aye, this place must have been part of Secret <laughs> Kingdom, a first outpost preceding further expansion. <laughs> Things that only rotate from the other direction. <laughs> mentions a spell that puts trolls to sleep and a magic relic that acts as a sort of counter spell This outpost is what's left of Fjordalund. Sigrun spoke of growing up with these people before she joined the Valkyries.
Outpost is what's left of Fjordalun. Sigrun spoke of growing up with these people before she joined the Valkyries. <laughs> cast riches and power aside to follow a higher calling with the Valkyrie. You really put her on a pedestal. That's what pedestals are for, aren't they? Raising up the virtuous. If you say so. Aha, 
Perhaps those runes over there can shed some light. What? No. She never mentioned. Kratos, I think I see a key. It could be to the vault in the treasury. Now that looks like a key to a royal repository to me. It is broken. Not broken. It's just split in half. Perhaps we could find its partner.
A musical instrument. From your homeland, isn't it? Can you play? Yes. Will you? No. Now, where have we seen an artifact like that before? Tears Vault. Another crane. Namir, what did those runes say? Secret. Helgi. Seems they were madly in love. But her parents wouldn't let them marry. Ooh, oh, come, Namir. a souvenir from foreign you lands. You really didn't think you were her first love, did you? Aye. Suppose I did. up another trail. Keep following their heads. Tell me more of your homeland. It was violent and cruel. Sounds no different from these lands. It was warmer. Whoa! 
before you freed them? I do not know. Hmm. Regardless, they should draw some comfort. They're still scared. Not of the Raiders. Do not... Do not be afraid. You are safe. Good. Good boys. Yes. Good girls.
I scouted ahead. The lake's crawling with raiders. Be careful. I knew we'd left something behind. Whatever you need. Anything for Freya? I'll disinfect my tools. Huh. That might be my best piece yet today. I'll heat up the forge. And for the Valkyrie Queen? What do you need? Take care of your... And it'll take care of you. This is the place. We need to work our way up. This way. There. Can you cut a way through the ice? Oh, are the norms making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. I didn't tell them to be here. Alka! 
did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. Freya, thank you for your help. I know this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful.
Kratos, Ghost of Sparta, Bane of Olympus, the Spirit of Fate, Cruel Strike, Bringer of War, Weapon of the Gods, Turn against his creators. He chases a redemption for those he can never deserve. He cannot change it. He certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. Seems he was guarding that way outside. Hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. Certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. There's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mamir. Mm. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. What is that? The Phantom! Rogue magic! Aim for the runic core! Bloody 
hell! Look at that thing! Switching arrows! It's still protected by the rune of its core! It's vulnerable oh. when it glows! Oh. Draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just yeah. ahead. That itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. I, how very dare you! Babbling! official.
to me. This is all your doing, mother. I am the soul sick of your constant mess. What you did to me? Hold off. Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did. I tried to stop him any way I could. Just lie to me! You served Odin from the day you met to the day he put you in that tree! You sought on me! You wanted his war! You watched him! For love of you, I became a better man, a counselor for me, an ally to all of you. Were you an ally to Freya in her suffering? To Scott? To Grubba? Or to Tanya? No! You were up to the side of the powerful set! You looked at Brother, watch out! There's more of us! Even now, you see a violent gun in me! You can't help but hate me! And call me brother! It's who you've always been! You sought Odin from the day you met to the day he put you in that place! You sought on him! You watched him! You watched him mistreat everyone and everything! And you never gave a death until you turned on you! I know, Seagrin. It's true. All of it. But for love of you, I became a better man, a counselor for peace, an ally to all those who were you an ally to Freya in her suffering, to Scott, to Grubba, or to Tanya? No! You all took the side of the power of the You Brother, watch out! The four of them! Even now, you see a violent gun in me, and you can't help but hate him and call him brother! And who you always do! It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the tree! It's pulling me in! Mamir! Brother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! Why wouldn't you see him the way he wants to be seen? I don't want to be back! Even mine! That's all I have to do. And now he's mine. He killed the pain! The trap! I am here!
we passed the test. Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. You have to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the loss by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. We're here. Fate's own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns. Tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you see what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. No, oh. oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak, Speak plain. plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you called him the destroyer of fate. There, there must be a way, way to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable. Merely make us seem prescient. When, when my son, son was born, born shut up! up. <laughs> Your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did... It was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act, to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in storycraft. 
We are, we are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> well, that was educational. <laughs> Let us leave this place. Happily. I can feel things getting more normal already. Wait. A tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Mimir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't have to. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. <laughs> I see something. <laughs> Up there. We're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya. I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. There are... believe. The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. 
How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur, and so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. Let us find a gateway, return home, consider our plans. Listen, brother, before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, though I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. Secret when you saw her last. She's still incorporeal ever since Kratos set her free of her corrupted form. But she hasn't let that stop her from helping any way she can. The truth is, I owe her more than I can repay. 
Ah, I doubt she'd see it that way. When we freed her, she could speak of little else but her reverence for you. Seeing you yourself again would surely be payment enough. Your fireplaces are looking a little what? cool. What is this? Ravens. The ones we've been destroying. Odin's little spies. Like the father of all, we swung from the tree. Wisdom gained father, served him. Swung from the tree. A gift of life, a gift in death. To smother forever, the all-father's breath. Odin must have created these creatures. But how? I haven't the foggiest. They came after my time with him. Or perhaps we should continue to destroy any of Odin's ravens we find. I can stoke the fires of those chain blades for you. Still owe me the story of who made these things. Come back if you need more crap. 